Hi, uh, welcome back to DIY Geek. Um, in this video, I'm going to review and use this test kit. This is one of the best uh, pool water test kit on the market. Uh, it's by Trouble Free Pool. And I'm gonna put the link in the description if you want to buy this. Um, so I'm gonna um, go over all the different contents, but uh, in this video, we're just going to do the uh, chlorine and pH test, uh, which is this blue box right here. I will eventually have um, other videos that covers all the different other different tests that this kit can do. But for now, uh, we're just going to do this chlorine and pH test. So this blue box contains everything that we need in regards to the uh, chlorine and pH test. Um, so there's just two chemicals and uh, it looks intimidating, but it's actually not that hard. So what we're gonna do is fill in this um, container uh, drop in the chemicals and put it at the back of um, in front of a sheet of paper and and do the measurement and that's about it So let's get going Okay, so I'm gonna get the actual pool water and uh, since I'm filling up both uh, Left side and right side it'll be much easier for me to use a plastic bottle where I can pour it on on both sides later on and and completely adjust What I would like to do is fill it up to this thin black line right here right there so one thing that is very important that you need to do is make sure that this is fully rinsed and so I'm just going to put it in the pool and shake it up and make sure that uh, it is completely rinsed with the same water and then I'm going to collect some water inside this uh, plastic bottle again rinse it make sure that it's all completely the same water and you would want to take as deep as possible up to your elbow if you can so go ahead and, and put it all the way down take out all the bubbles and bring the water up all right so now we're gonna try to fill it in to here okay so that's a little bit too much there up to the black line and that's too little whoops Okay, that's uh, still a little bit too much. Okay, and then the less, less. Okay, still a little bit too much. There, that's what, that one is perfect. This one is still too little. Okay, now they're both too little. So it could be easier using a, almost like a dropper, I guess. Okay. So you can also put one hand on the cover uh, on the top while you adjust the other one to make it easier. All right, so they're both up to the blue, uh, the, the thin black line and we're gonna take it to the test kit and drop some chemicals. Okay, so first we're gonna do the chlorine test which is this yellow bottle. And uh, so make sure you shake this really good and we're gonna drop five drops to the left. One, two, three, four, and five, okay? And then we are going to close that container. <coughs> okay, so first we're gonna do the chlorine test, which is this yellow bottle. And uh, so make sure you shake this really good. And we're gonna drop five drops to the left. One, two, three, four, and five, okay? And then we are going to close that container. <coughs> Okay, and we are going to do the um, the pH, which is this red one. Again, sorry, I forgot. Shake this one first, 
and drop five drops also one two three four five and we're gonna close the containers tight and don't shake it all you're gonna do is invert about five times is good okay okay and we are going to do the um, the pH which is this red one again sorry I forgot shake this one first and drop five drops also one two three four five and we're gonna close the containers tight and don't shake it all you're gonna do is invert about five times is good okay okay so the next part is just uh, examining the result I have a sheet of paper and you would want to put it here just like this at with the sheet of paper at the background so you get the most accurate reading and you're trying to match the color to the one to, the, to this color uh, in the in the center here so you can see that my chlorine is actually very low It's probably at right here or below so it's at 1 0 0.5 or lower than 0 0.5 I would say somewhere around here probably 0 0.5 so I have very low chlorine and on the pH I am probably pretty high at about 8.2 or so and uh, that's it so I just want to show you um, how to measure chlorine and pH and uh, this is the most accurate way this is more accurate than using test strip okay thank you for watching and uh, please subscribe I will be doing a lot more tests uh, with all the different kinds of um, tests that we can do using this trouble free pool test kit Thank you and have a good day. Bye. Okay, so the next part is just uh, examining the result. I have a sheet of paper and you would want to put it here just like this at, with the sheet of paper at the background so you get the most accurate reading. And you're trying to match the color to the one, to, the, to this color uh, in, the, in the center here. So you can see that my chlorine is actually very low. It's probably at right here or below. So it's at 1, 0 0.5 or lower than 0 0.5, I would say. Somewhere around here, probably 0 0.5. So I have very low chlorine. And on the pH, I am probably pretty high at about 8.2 or so. And uh, that's it. So I just want to show you um, how to measure chlorine and pH. And uh, this is the most accurate way. This is more accurate than using test strip. Okay, thank you for watching and uh, please subscribe. I will be doing a lot more tests uh, with all the different kinds of um, tests that we can do using this trouble-free pool test kit. Thank you and have a good day. Bye. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel to see more do-it-yourself videos like these and support my channel. Thank you.